guys it's your girl joy i am so excited to show you my back to school haul for 2019 i actually get into my classroom july 15th and this is my haul all of these goodies and i am so excited to share this with you i mean it's just boxes on top of boxes and boxes and boxes and i'm so excited but you have not been into my garage <laughs> which is crazy period <laughs> i am so excited and overjoyed to share this haul with you for 2019 back to school so i am very passionate about alternative seating in my classroom so what i did um, I knew I could not do this by myself. So what I did was I set up a teacher's wish list and I shared it with my subscribers. I shared it with my Facebook friends and family. And I put everything on my Amazon wish list. You can go online and create a wish list and have people help you create the ultimate classroom for these amazing students that you're about to meet for the first time um because you can't do it all by yourself maybe you can but i know i couldn't i wasn't in a position to do it by myself so i'm just overjoyed that i'm able to provide this dream classroom for my students supported by my youtube subscribers and my facebook family i'm so excited so we have the balance ball chairs um that i put on my amazon wish list it's free to set it up and then you write your story what are your goals for your wish list and everything is for the classroom um i tried i'm trying to set up stations i really won't know how everything will come together until i get into the classroom in a couple of weeks oh my gosh i'm just so excited i'm bursting with joy so i'm just going to show you a few items that i have because this is just so much to go through and I literally have to um, get a U-Haul to deliver everything. I also got permission to have every desk removed from my classroom, every traditional classroom desk removed um, so I can provide a 100% alternative seating classroom for these students. I may squeeze in two traditional free public school desks for those who cannot cope or behave um, appropriately with the alternative seating. Okay, so one of the things I'm super, super surprised, um, I just got this today <laughs> from one of my YouTube subscribers, and this is, I love doing lamps all around my room, and one of the things that I have the um, janitors do first, first week I'm there before school starts, I have them take out some, of, remove some of the lights, the overhead lights, because the fluorescent light is because it's too harsh. Um, sometimes it'll trigger migraines. I'll get a headache. Sometimes um, some of the kids um, react to that harsh lighting. And for me, I've worked at behavior schools for several years. And what I've learned when I control my lighting in the room, I, I have lamps throughout my entire room. It actually controls behavior. It controls behavior. I've used it for four years and it, it has worked for four years. So what this is, it's so amazing. Um, you plug your lamps into this. I'll see if you can get a close up. You plug your lamps into this and instead of walking around the room every morning, you have a remote control. Bam, 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 bam. To turn on all your lights, honey. This is a time saver. You just get your remote control and turn your all your lamps on in your room. Because I'm big on lamps in my classroom. Uh, once again, it for me, it controlled behavior. Um, because I work with at-risk youth uh, for several years. Um, so I have the exercise, the balance balls. Um, I have a pencil dispenser. I got a pencil dispenser. <laughs> So, I'm not the type of teacher that's going to complain about a pencil. Go ahead and get a pencil. It's not the end of the world. It's a pencil. You could get a, 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 about a dozen pencils from the dollar store if you really had to. It's not something I want a child to lose a lesson over because of a pencil. So, I have a cute little pencil dispenser. And this is on my wish list. Um, 
I just put everything I wish I had in the classroom. And my subscribers and my Facebook family, they did the thing, honey. And I got me a laminator. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> teach without a laminator. <laughs> so I got a laminator. They sent me laminating sheets. Um, I'm not sure if the school has a community laminator, but if I want to do something right in my classroom, I'll be able to do it right in my classroom with my own personal laminator. I had one, but my kids use it and it no longer works, my kids at home. So I got me a laminator. The other thing I got, which is so awesome, let's move this over here. Um, <laughs> I don't wanna open the box right now, <laughs> but I'll do it for you. <laughs> So the other thing I got was a stamper. So I can stamp papers and stuff like that. Um, what do they have on here? Can you see what they have? Amazing, way to go. Um, fantastic. Please correct and return. Great work, excellent. So I wanna do positive reinforcement in a class and let the kids know that, you know, I'm, you know, excited about the work that they're handing in and so forth. So this is a stamper. So I'm really excited about this. Hey, it was a wish list and I got my wish. This is like better than Christmas. The other thing I got, um, it was a wish list, okay? It was a wish list, so I put it on there. Um, depending on the size of my class, <laughs> This is a headphone, it's an amplifier, so if I'm doing a special project or if I need to get the attention of the class, um, my voice can be amplified throughout the room without yelling. <laughs> I just thought it was so cool, so I put it on my wish list and somebody got me this. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. The other thing I got which I've seen other people use. I have not used it, but I'm excited about using it and using it to transition between stations and so on and so forth. So this is from, because I have the note in here, Teresa Patterson. Um, she bought this for me off my wish list. This is um, the doorbell. And you can do different sounds. It'll help with, you know, um, using it to transition from one station to the next or to get the attention of the children. I've seen many teachers use this, but you know, I'll keep doing my research on how it can be effectively used in my classroom. So I'm so excited. And of course, all the exercise balls and alternative seating, um, there's, there, there's been a ton of research on that. And as far as the balls, I even love sitting on the balls. It increases your posture, and over time, it increases the blood flow to the brain, which increases your attention span and you know your interaction in the classroom. So there have been tons and tons of studies on that. If you want to know more about the alternative seating as far as the yoga balls and stuff in the classroom, um, I would suggest you do your research on that. Um, I love them, the kids love them. And even if you have a child has ADHD or ADD, they can use that movement and they're bouncing. But then before they're allowed to use all these items in the classroom, classroom we will have a class on how to use each and every item in the classroom. I have bikes um, with desktop attached to them. I have under desk ellipticals, um, the yoga balls, um, I have stand-up desks, so I just have a, a classroom um, that's geared towards kids who prefer movement. I have carpets, if you want to lay down on a carpet and do your work, not sleep. And if that's how you're going to do your work and we reach the same end goal, who am I to say that you can't do that? As long as you're not disturbing the class, you're doing your work, and you're getting work done, go for it. I want kids to learn the way that's best for them and not the way that's best for me. So if they're learning and we're getting our stuff done, go for it. So, okay, so I have different types of balls. This is a balance ball with the back. I have balls without the back. Um, I have, uh, I have 12 of these balls. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have 12 of the Waliki balls. They're blue balls. Um, I have 12 of these because I requested three long desks in my classroom. 
Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, that I can fit five, five of these bowls at each desk or something like that, four, four, eight, 12, four bowls at each, each table or something like that. So I'm really excited about those. I also requested an electric pump. So these bowls, all these bowls can be blown up by the pump and not uh, manually blown up, which that's what I've been doing for the past couple of years. I also got <laughs> in this big, 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 big box right here. <laughs> I got uh, Big Joe, Big Joe's in the house. I got two huge bean bags. So I got two huge bean bags for the classroom. So that could be a separate section. And then I also have um, big table. I have a big table in my garage and somebody ordered um, two hydraulic chairs for that table. Um, what else did I get? It's just so much stuff. I'm just so excited with all these balls. Let me see if I can look over there. This is more balls. I got some replacement, some replacement balls. These are black balls. So I got blue balls, black balls, pink balls. So these balls can be used as different stations and I can, um, name these stations oh you're in the pink section you're in the black section you're in the blue section you're in the big bag so all these different sections will have a name and that's how i will try to um control where the seats are and where you're sitting and do a rotational chart do an anchor chart on a proper way to use these stations and if you abuse the privilege to sit in this these um alternative seating um options then you can go and sit in the public, the free public school education seat, since you can't do well with these alternative seating options. So I think I may request to have two desks brought back into my room. They should be gone by the time I get into the room because I requested for every desk to, re to be removed and it was approved. So I'm just over the moon excited. Let me see, did I miss anything? So this is the pump. This is the box for the pump. We did blow up a ball to test it out. So that's the pump. And these are the balls, more balls. Now this one, I'm really excited about this one. This is, um, this goes up to number 36. And you hang this on your whiteboard. And what this is, it's a cell phone holder. So when the kids come in, their name will correspond to a number, which therefore they need to put their cell phones in here because I find that cell phones is, has become a real big issue in the classroom. But let me tell you, you have to start from day one. You gotta start from day one with your expectations. And when you start this from day one, you have to be consistent. So as soon as they come into your classroom, they know they, not, they have to put their cell phones in this holder. That's what you do. Start with day one and be firm and be consistent. And sometimes that's something I have to work with. So as soon as you come in the room and then you have a list with everybody's number next to their name and you can easily glance if a cell phone is not in there. So let's just say 35. You be like, oh, Cindy, you know, 35 belongs to Cindy. Oh, Cindy, where's your cell phone? Or I also have a 10 port charging station that I also invested. Um, uh, so therefore, if their cell phone is not being charged, there will be a slip that they can put in so I know that their cell phone is charging in the charging station. And they'll just put, you know, charging. So I have to create that. So this is a great tool to use in the classroom to control cell phones in the room or <laughs> non-usage. So I have a few other items in the garage, but this is my haul so far, and I'm so excited to share it with you and looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with for uh, your hauls and any ideas you have for back to school. So please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and thank you later.